that has. So the foot on the hip is everything. Here, okay? Now, if he keeps this leg wide, that's kind of what I'm looking for, is this leg to be out base wide. If it's narrow the way it is right now, I might just bring my foot back in and go back for the scissor sweep. But step your foot super wide base here, extra wide. And now go to stack me up, all right? I look to go here, under the knee, okay? And once I have the knee, I have the collar, I have the sleeve or the elbow here, the sweep is very easy. I just lift my hook and turn it, okay? And from here, I actually like to keep my toes hooked sometimes in his leg. If he kicks free, he kicks free. Like kick straight down, boom, I'm still mounted, right? But sometimes I like to hang up his leg here just so he's not thinking too much about defending his neck, right? He's thinking more about turning, escaping, putting me in the half guard, whatever. So one more time right here, boom. The guy's stepped up. Let's start from the scissor sweep. Let's say my knee's like this and this. If my toes are hooked tight during the swing, it's tough. Right? And while he's doing that, he's probably going to get swept, especially since he's turning his body to face that direction. Very good opportunity for sweeps, right? But if my foot is loose and he swings through, he starts to lift. My hips are going to take a ride until I can step. And test this out too. Try to stack me up here, try to reach my collar. See how my leg here is straightening. Every time he goes to extend and press forward, I straighten my leg to keep my hips away. The closer my hips, the easier the stack. Kind of triangle can be dangerous if you don't know exactly what you're doing, right? And then from here, I'm looking to hook my toes under his leg. Okay? Even if his leg is in a little bit like that, you can still do it. Normally, if the person's foot is way out in base, it's going to be right there. It's going to be very easy. Okay? And now I'm just hooking my toes. I'm keeping my knee pointed open a little bit, right? And now I'm going to start to pull him off balance the same way as before. I'm starting to lift my hook a little bit. This leg drops or kicks. And then we squeeze. Okay? Go for the choke. If he decides to turn to his side, we end up on the back, right? Seat belt, grip, right? <clears throat> hold it down, and then we're here. You wanna try one left? Sure. So here, he gets the hand in the collar, right? And now he goes to his scissor sweep, and maybe I start to sit back a little bit, I start to dive my hand through. So this is the tricky part. If he does nothing here, and now keep your knee pointed down. Yeah, sucks, right? <laughs> It basically he hooks his knee. Well, I start to crack. Oh no. no. It's just broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that goes through, right? As I start to lift, you're gonna stiffen up a little bit. Uh, don't arch away, but your goal is gonna be to step on my hip. So you're gonna let your hips travel a little bit. See that? I'm almost carrying you for a second, right? Weird. I'm lifting, I move his whole body. And now keep the hand in the collar, boom. And now since my leg up is in base, you can hook right under. My arm will usually get caught a little bit here too, which is great. And I'll go for your sweep, go lift, boom. We end up here, okay? Even if I turn this way, great. Right on the back. If I don't turn, my arm is trapped under the leg for a moment, you can go right for that cross stroke. He goes over or under, head down, done. Make sense? Cool? All right, guys, let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Are you okay? Oh, it's good. Yeah, I don't know how we Can I try it on you? Sure. <laughs> I mean, like, on this and the other thing. <laughs> Which ones are you getting? This is the good one. The left one is the bad one. The left one is the bad one. The left one is the bad one. Okay, so, uh, right here, go ahead, 